Hey guys, Cam King, Grassfed Marketing. All right, so this is the secret to shipping beef. Okay, this is the one thing that if you do this, you are going to decrease both the complexity, the cost, and the time that it takes to ship beef twofold, three, five, tenfold. Okay, this one thing. Um, this isn't how we started doing it, and I wish that it had been. Um, because it would have saved us a lot of time, a lot of money, and man, a lot of stress. Um, a lot of these white whiskers, that's from shipping beef right there. That's, those are beef shipping. Um, white? I shouldn't have any white. I'm in my 30s. Um, but, but shipping beef, man, stressful. Uh, at the same time, I'm glad that we didn't start off this way because now I can say unequivocally with experience um, that, that you should not do it this way. Instead, the secret to decreasing all of the negatives of shipping beef and building a, a successful beef business while shipping is to not sell beef to people who do not live close to you. And a, f a step further, don't even let people buy who are not close to you. If you don't have a market that's close to you, a big market, maybe you do live in a town of a couple hundred people or out you know, in the middle of nowhere, then what you'll do instead is you'll find the closest kind of metropolitan area, which by the way, doesn't have to be huge. Um, you know, we had really successful like high five figure sales like in a year in small communities. And by small, I mean about 50,000 people or less. And that was in the first year, right? Being able to sell under six figures in beef, but still, and that was just in a small community. Um, and one of the things that, one of the reasons, so if, if you live outside, you know, away from, a good, a good market, just pick one that's close to you and then only sell to people within a small area in that market. Okay, so let me give you an example. If you live um, an hour outside of Salt Lake City, Salt Lake's a great market, it's a huge market. There's, you know, two million people. But if you live an hour away, what you'll do is instead of selling to anyone in Salt Lake, you will pick a neighborhood in Salt Lake and you'll sell to that neighborhood. You can build a beautiful six-figure business on, on, a, on a small like area like that, but you have to be super selective. And when you do, I mean, what happens is it sets this amazing constraint, right? As soon as you say, I'm only going to deliver beef to these people, I'm only going to sell to this, this geographic market, all of your complexity disappears. Because the logistics for a beef producer to deliver beef, my goodness, the logistics of that, the, the complexity of those logistics and the difficulty it increases dramatically. It's like a hockey stick the minute you try to sell outside of a small geographic area. So the secret then is just to ship to people, who only sell to people who live close to you. Do that and say goodbye to all of your stress. Say goodbye to all your complexity. Shipping becomes really easy. You still don't know how to ship? Just walk down to the USP, USPS office or UPS or DHL or FedEx. Literally just go in, just stop in and talk with them and say, what does it cost? How do I do this? Will you show me what to do? Give me the, what are the, my three options? And they'll show you exactly what to do. That's not where you, this is not the ideal, like it's, like there are better ways of shipping, right, than just walking down to the office, but it's the best thing that you can do right now if you don't know what to do, right? You have to take action. Don't take it from me, just take action. Go down there, it's the quickest first step that you can take, and it's the earliest win that you can get is by, you have to actually leave your house, leave the farm, leave the ranch, step out of the building, go talk to someone in person, a real human, and ask questions and engage in dialogue. And guess what? That will loose your tongue. And as your tongue is loosed, now I'm not talking biblical here, okay? But literally, as your tongue is loosed, you'll be able to talk more and more and your confidence will grow. And then all of a sudden you're like, hey, I'm gonna stop by the FedEx place now that I'm done at DHL. Now I'm gonna go to the USPS place. And you'll just gain this momentum, but you have to get out of the building, right? It's the first thing we tell startups in Silicon Valley, well, that I did tell them when I was advising and investing um, in startups. It was when you're trying to create a product or build a business, step out of the building. Like, get out of your head, get off your computer, get out of the building and go talk to someone, right? And solve, like, find solutions to the things that you think are problems because they're not really problems. You just got to get freaking stand up, get out of the chair, out of your building and go talk to someone, all right? That's how you get in momentum. And it is when we're in momentum that we begin to create and do the things that are powerful and impactful for our business. And it's contagious. That's the thing about momentum. It's contagious. Um, so that's the secret.
Um, I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, send them to me. Uh, Cam at grassfedmarketing.org, grass and I'll answer them. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.